What's up, world? This is Allison Weiss, and you're watching Ambi. Hey, everyone. It's Alicia from Ambi, and I would like to welcome you to our interview with Allison Weiss. Hello, hello. Hello. How are you? Very good. We just got into Toronto. Excited to play tonight. We're excited to see you, and I have to say welcome to Toronto. Excited to be doing this. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> first things first, I have to ask, is it true that you saw Titanic seven times in theaters? Yes. This it is, is. This is true. I can confirm... <laughs> The stories that you've heard. I've seen Titanic seven times in the theater. Is it one of your favorite films? You just had to go back for it? It was like I was in seventh grade, and I feel like, I don't know if you remember when that movie came out, it was like the thing to do was like, you got to see Titanic in the theater. It's so good. And then, like, everybody wanted to go see it. So it would be like, well, I already saw it, but I'll go with you and see it again. And see it. And by the end of it, I had seen it seven, seven times. Seven times. And yeah, I love that movie to this day. I think Titanic is still one of my favorite movies. I've never seen Titanic. Really? Honestly. Oh, God, you're missing out. It's, <laughs> it's so, uh, it's so. Im it's like, it's perfect because it's a love story, but also it's like an action movie okay. at the same time. So you get like a really intense love story and also like lots of action and special effects. Uh, I haven't mean to check it out. I, I will. Especially yeah. after that little explanation. There you go. There yes. you go. Here I am. <laughs> Tell you all about Titanic. <laughs> we are now at the Crying at the Party Tour. How how is this whole thing going so far? It's great. We're only a few shows in. We're having a blast. Um, excited to be on the East Coast. We started this thing off with a few really long drives to get over here from California. So now we're into the part of the country where it's a little shorter. It's nice. Have there been any highlights so far from those few shows, whether a fan interaction, a venue, kind of just checking out certain cities? Chicago was wonderful. We always love playing sh Chicago, so that was so great. And you know what? We played Lansing, Michigan last night, and didn't know what it was going to be like because I've never played in Lansing, and that's usually not where people play. Uh, but the show turned out to be super fun, and the crowd was just so into it, and we all had a blast and got really sweaty. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I know a lot of people, once they're done touring, sometimes they get a little bit bummed out, sometimes it's relief because they're back home. But for you, in your brain right now, you must be extremely excited because you are getting married. I am getting married. You are. Congratulations. I'm, like, simultaneously excited and terrified. I've just start. I'm, like, a month out, and I've started having, like, the wedding's not going right nightmares. Oh. So I'm looking forward to 30 days of that while also on the road. Um, but, yeah, I'm really stoked to get home and, oh. and get married. I'll just say congratulations. Thank you. We're very excited to catch you before all that hectic, exciting awesomeness I know. Happens. It's so hectic, but it's so exciting. <laughs> but just speaking to that whole subject, I have to say congrats on the release of New Love. Thank you. You're welcome. You actually dropped a video for Back to Me recently, and I love how the whole idea of the video is kind of just being content with being alone sometimes. Yeah. Is that where it came from? Because that's kind of when I get out of it. You know, I... I I feel like um, I sort of meant it as like it doesn't matter uh, what other people think of you or you don't have to please other people, you know, do art for yourself. But I really actually love that you took that away from oh. it because I feel oh, like that is you. a really important <laughs> message that um, people don't talk about very often. You know, society focuses a lot on uh, you got to be in love, you got to have a partner, but it's okay to be alone. What was it like filming the video? And were those people who were kind of walking across looking at you, were they extras? Were they people who were in on it, checking you out on the street randomly? Some of them were extras who okay. agreed to be in the video. And some of them, the ones whose faces you can't see, were actual Hollywood tourists. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, the thing I like about this release is even though the songs are super upbeat, super fun, a lot of the lyrics are really sad. So what about that juxtaposition do you really enjoy? I don't know. It just, I feel like that's um, what I've always done ever since I've written songs. The only reason I can think is because I like to play music that's fun, but I have a lot of feelings and I really like to write about heartbreak and romance and that sort of stuff. And so you put the two together and I've got sad music that you can dance to, hence crying at the party. <laughs> Well, I came across something and you had said, finally made a record that sounds like the music I listened to. So who are some bands you were listening to where you are like, yes, I nailed this. It's my own, but I also kind of took a lot from people I love. I think when I was making New Love, uh, I was very inspired by bands like Bleachers um, and some like even more electronic like uh, churches, music like that. Um, you know, I'm really into to Top 40 and really into dance songs and dance music. And uh, I feel like in the past I made a lot of acoustic records, things with like glockenspiel and ukuleles and stuff like that, which is totally great, nothing wrong with that, but you know, I don't know why I always ended up recording songs like that, and I was really stoked when we made New Love, and you know, it's got some sort of like electronic beats and things, like on the song Counting Down, um, that was one of my favorites, because that song, I believe the drums are like fully programmed, and I've always listened to stuff like Postal Service and um, and um, gosh, why can't I think of anything? Whenever you, whenever <laughs> someone puts you on the spot, you can't think of a single it's always band. The case. Ah, band. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> so you've kind of always been a sucker for a really good pop song. Yeah, absolutely. Do you remember one of the first pop bands you fell in love with? 
Uh, well, Hanson, for sure. Okay. They were my favorite band ever when I was 10 years old. Um, and then, you know, the usual NSYNC, Backstreet Boys, that sort of stuff. Until I got into high school, then I was too cool for it. <laughs> I think I listened to punk everyone music. went through that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I don't want to listen to this anymore. And then got a little older and I was like, wait a minute, Max Martin, incredible songwriter, incredible producer, Britney Spears, oh, so good, <laughs> you know? And I like a lot how under your band interest on Facebook, it just says snacks. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's all there is to it, folks. I'm glad you snacks. saw it. I feel like nobody looks at that, but I'm really glad that you looked at it. Yeah, <laughs> man, we love snacks. Who doesn't? Oh, what are some of your favorite snacks? Hmm. Uh, well, on the road, I like to try and be healthy, and my snacks are like bananas and turkey jerky and stuff like that. Uh, but, um, man, today we uh, stopped at, like, an apple orchard and got those little uh, maple candies. Oh, nice. You know those things? Yeah. And now I'm, like, addicted to maple candies, <laughs> McDonald's french fries. I don't know why when you say snacks, I automatically think unhealthy. But it, that's kind of, like, the yeah. thing. You know what I mean? I, like, I could house a sleeve of Oreos, like, <laughs> so easily. Me too. Yes. <laughs> Something that was very neat you did for New Love is you did this New Love interview series where you interviewed producers, guitar players, a bunch of people you worked with on this record. Yeah. So I was wondering if you, I would ask you some of your own interview questions, what the answers would be. So I love that. We are going to do that. Okay, cool. All right, so the first one. When you were a kid, did you dream of doing what you do now? You know, when I was a kid, um, I was sure I was going to be a cartoonist. I was really into art and drawing and drawing cartoons and things like that. Um, and then I got a little older, I got really into like stop motion movies, so I thought I was going to make movies or something like that. It wasn't until I was 14 or 15 that I really started playing guitar, and even then it was just a hobby. And It wasn't until I got to college and had sort of put some of my songs on the internet um, that I realized that I really liked writing songs and that I could go on tour and people liked my music and things like that. So. Yeah, it's, it's weird. I was actually really afraid of singing when I was a kid. Uh, I was super nervous about being on stage. You know, I was in drama club in school and I was a tech person. I was like totally behind the scenes because I was like, no way I can't ever get on stage. And now I do it every day. <laughs> what changed for you? Was there a moment? You know, I don't really know. I feel like it was just, I started writing songs really. I started, um, you know, essentially putting diary entries to music and I really liked how that felt to perform those and, you know, see people uh, react to them. Uh, and you know have people come up to me after I played a song and say that really meant a lot and you know I've been going through a tough time and I heard that and really you know it really spoke to me so yeah I think that sort of a lightning bolt maybe went off when that started happening and I was like okay this is like worthy this is a worthy cause that's awesome yeah Another one you had asked people is, how old were you when you had your first kiss? Exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point. Feel free to tell us the story. Oh, my God. I can't <laughs> believe I asked people that question. <laughs> Woo! Uh, I was 14 or 15, I think, when I had my first kiss. Boy named Sam. We were watching Josie and the Pussycats, the Classic. movie. We didn't kiss until the very end of the movie, even though it was like everybody wanted to kiss through the whole movie. So then we finally kissed. And... Um, then I went upstairs with my best friend and I said, that was gross. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what is your favorite track off New Love? Oh man, that's so tough. They're all my little children. Um, but I think I've been really feeling back to me lately because it's so fun to perform on tour because I drop the guitar and I just do it like a total pop star and it's like I get to live live out my pop fantasies <laughs> um so yeah that one's that one's I think my favorite right now nice and then the last one I have from your interview is how old were you when you had your heart broken for the first time and how did it feel Ooh, man so many different heartbreaks and it's funny because you always think this is the one this is the big one um you know I feel like I had my heart broken high school style when I was 14 or 15 same boy we dated and then we broke up. I was just like so sad. Um, but my my first real, real intense breakup was when I was like 22. Uh, and I wrote an entire album called Say What You Mean about that breakup. Yeah. Well, just to wrap everything up today, is there anything you want to say to all of your fans who will be viewing? Oh, man. Um, hi. <laughs> 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 what do people usually say? <laughs> Whatever uh, they want. That's the I hope you're having it. a great day and you look wonderful. Um, whatever is going on with your hair is perfect, and I hope to see you soon. <laughs> Those are great parting words. Thank, Thank you. you so much for chatting. Thank you for having me. It is my absolute pleasure. And remember to everybody viewing, you can visit us at musicblogger.com for all exclusive interviews, features, videos, and so much more with your favorite artists.
We'll see you next time. Bye.